True Believers, this is JAR369. Welcome back for another Funko related review. Today I'll be taking a look at the Pop Black Panther number 385 New York Comic Con exclusive Okoye by Funko. Now, take a look at the box here. You know, it's just the usual Black Panther box here. Just the usual Black Panther Funko Pop box. And on the back there, you got other pops from the um, other wave like T'Challa, Black Panther and his um, winning outfit or fighting outfit. I, don't, I forgot what it's called. Okoye, which is actually Funko Shop exclusive and the um, Pop Culture exclusive. Shuri, you got an Ikea. Eric Killmonger and the Target exclusive Eric Killmonger. Eric Killmonger with the um the hair and the um scars on his chest. Ulysses Claw and we got Mabaku. So that's about it for the um the box. Now let's release Black Panther out of the box. Here we got Okoye out of the pack the box. Well she does then without her display stand. So, for the sake of review, let's just put her on here. There we go. Do, do, do. Come on. There we go. Much better. So, here we got Koye. Now, take a look at the pop here. The head scope, I see, it's pretty much exactly the same as the, um, as the, um, the Funko Shop exclusive. I'll tell you in a minute why it's the same head scope. Now take a look at her outfit here. Uh, on focus. Uh, nothing much on the red dress here, just all red and all so all that stuff here. You can see some of the uh, straps with her dresses. You get the bracelets there on her each of her wrists, and uh, also the. The little dress is like just blowing or something like that. Well, you know, she is fighting. And you get the little, her golden heels on the pop. And the staff, pretty pretty decent looking staff. You get the gold paint on each of the, of the areas, like the handles and the arrows, all that stuff. Now, the coolest thing about this pop is her wig is removable. All you, come on, there we go. <laughs> now, like I said about this, the head is pretty much exactly the same as the Funko Shop exclusive. It's because the um the whole pop disc reuses the um the exactly the same head as the um. Yeah, well, it does have some nice printing on the tattoos on her bald head. Yeah, there's some nice printings on it. It looks really good. You see there's a little earring molding on to it. Now the wig here is pretty much a softer plastic material. I mean it has some nice scope to the wig actually. And you know, so you can see some of the holes for the ears so it can fit in. If you have like bold pops like uh, let's say for example if you have like the um uh, Dr. Smolder Bravestone from Jumanji or Professor X from X-Men Pops. Any characters who are bald, then you probably put this pop in this hair. Look. Well, overall, I gotta say this Funko Pop is pretty much a well done, done looking. I mean, I, re I really like how, come on, get in. I uh, know what, I'll just leave the wig off of her. Like I said, I think Funko did a, did something new. Like, let's just say, remove the um, the wig off the, um, the, the pop here. I mean, it's a nice touch to it. If you're like a, like the big, biggest Black Panther fan, then I highly recommend getting this pop so much. But overall, it's a really, really cool looking pop. I like the removable head. The sculpt, the paint, any everything looks good. So, this is the Funko Black Panther number 385.
New York Comic Con exclusive Okoye. And goodbye. Somebody pop all day. Hold up. Somebody on their way. Hold up. I would have grown all day. Hold up. Somebody can't relate. Black Hold Panther. Stay down with no bacon. Go up. Top down. I've been racing. Go up. She wild. I'm in dangerous. Go up. My crowd in rotation. Yeah.